Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation on determining the pattern of butterfly migration of Dynene butterflies in India using citizen science. We know that many animals, including butterflies and other insects, are known to show long distance migrations. And migrations remain a crucial event for the survival of these migratory butterflies as the life cycle, feeding habits, etc. of the migratory butterflies are largely dependent on the migratory events. And among the butterfly migrations in the world, the most famous one is uh, the monarch migration, which happens in the American continent. And despite of several butterflies showing migratory behavior, migratory pattern of several butterflies still remains unknown. Now coming into butterfly migrations in India, the we know that butterfly migrations are also known to occur in India. There have been reports of butterfly migratory movements in India since early 20th century uh, by butterfly observers like Williams and Larson. And the north-south migration of Dynene butterflies, which uh, was observed in Nilagiri Palani Hills, uh, remains comparatively well documented from the early 20th century itself. But when we come to the east-west uh, butterfly migrations, uh, migrations of the Dynene butterflies, uh, which happens uh, in the peninsular India, it's, it largely remains uh, understudied. And as far as uh, the current studies shows us, in this figure, we can see that uh, the migration occurs between the Western Ghats region and the Eastern Ghats region. So during the pre-monsoon season, that is from April to June, butterflies migrate from the Western Ghats towards the Eastern Ghats and they remain in the Eastern Ghats during the monsoon season and by monsoon, the when monsoon occurs in the Western Ghats. And then they migrate back to Post uh, migrate back to uh, the Western Ghats during post monsoon uh, season, and that's when uh, range happens in the Eastern Ghats region, and they spend the winter season in the uh, Western Ghats region. Uh, this is the information that has been uh, collected from uh, a paper by Krishnamay Kunte in which was published in two thousand five. So the research questions over the study is, uh, what is the current understandings of pattern of uh, migration, uh, dynamic butterfly migrations in India in the literature, as well as does the pattern of shift of occurrence uh, of migratory dynamic butterflies from citizen science support findings from the literature? A third question which we tried to address over here was, um, is there any change in the pattern of migration over years? But uh, we were unable to address the question because of lack of data from citizen science portals over the years. Now, coming into the study species, uh, the study was focused on three species of butterflies, which is the blue tiger, thermal elements, the dark blue tiger, thermal septentosis, and the common crow, the euclear core. These butterflies were selected because of these butterflies uh, make the majority of the swarms of the east-west migration of uh, Dynane butterflies, as well as the data of uh, these butterflies were available in the citizen science portals. And the amount of data was high compared to other butterflies uh, when we come to these three species. Now, coming towards how secondary data was obtained for the addressing the first question, research question. The data on migratory pattern of these butterflies were obtained from journal articles, short communications, as well as gray literature uh, that's from books and technical reports. And this gray literature was obtained by reaching out to uh, my our network, uh, who, network of people, as well as uh, from these sources, the date of occurrence of migration the location of occurrence of migration as well as the direction of migration were among the important points collected. And this uh, information or data was visualized on maps using R. And uh, for studying the migration, the year was divided into four seasons, that is pre-monsoon season, uh, April to June, uh, for the monsoon season, July to September, the post-monsoon sister season, October to November, and the winter season, December to March. These uh, seasons were adapted as, uh, these were the seasons used in uh, Kunte's paper, which is the, uh, which is one of the most studied, one of the papers which uh, explores the migrations really well in India before. 
so also while referring to monsoon over the seasons uh the monsoon season refers to the southwest monsoon where uh, southwest monsoon season in which uh, the monsoon is really strong in the western parts now coming into the results of secondary data collection uh the secondary data collected showed a uh, migratory pattern of these butterflies the east west migratory pattern of these butterflies which were dependent on the season the season which were seasonal dependent now looking at uh, this map visualized uh, using r there is uh, data from article and books as well as gray literature we can see that the migration of butterflies in pre monsoon season that is in april to june the movements are largely from uh, eastern western guards towards eastern guards and during july to september uh, or the monsoon season there are not much migratory movements comparatively and during the post monsoon season there are some amount of movements from uh, eastern guards towards western guards and in december or to march which is the winter season there are not much movements so the butterflies are largely present in the western guards and now comparing it to the map Uh, shown in Kunte's paper, which was largely based on anecdotal information, we can understand that the seasonal dependency of the movements, uh, the seasonal pattern of this movement of migratory movements, uh, largely match uh, between two of these uh, maps. And now we are coming back to the second research question, that is. does the pattern of shift in occurrence of migratory dynaine butterflies from citizen science support the findings from the literature now looking into how uh, the data from citizen science was collected uh, the occurrence record of three species uh, oh, the three study species uh, were collected from i naturalist citizen science database only research grade images only the records with the research grade images were uh, used and as well as uh, each of the records were uh, checked with a uh, photo to make sure that it is an adult as well as um, it is the it is a correct identification and r was used to carry out analysis in the study as similar to the previous uh, methods for secondary data and similarly similar to the previous case uh, the uh seasons were categorized into four seasons now looking into uh, the occurrence shift among these uh, four seasons in the uh, map uh, generated using r uh, we can see that among all three species of butterflies uh, there is a re- seasonal shift and that is when we are looking into the pre monsoon season uh even though there are records of observations from all over india the um, major record of observations are, are like you know in between the uh, region in between western guards and eastern guards and when we come to the monsoon season the uh, records have increased for uh increased in the eastern guards region especially for the common crow butterflies and now when we come to post monsoon season we can see that there is a decrease in the amount of occurrence in eastern guards region and uh, there is a small increase in uh, western guards region as well as the region lying between both of these mountain ranges now coming to winter we can see that for all three species there is a very high increase in the number of occurrences of uh, this all the, all of these three species of butterflies so there are uh, some other uh, uh observe seasonal uh, shifts in the migratory patterns as well especially in the north northeast region but uh, largely when we look into this there is a seasonal shift in the pattern of occurrence uh, which can be related to migration as well as we can also see that there could be uh, potential uh, resident populations now when we look into a monthly map or when we look into uh, there's a monthly division of um, uh, this season rather than a uh, seasonal division we can uh, see that the same pattern we observed before in a seasonal division uh, can be seen during the a monthly map also that is 
during the months of April to June, and the the butterflies are largely migrating, and then uh, towards July to September they are in Eastern Ghats, and towards uh, October to November they are again migrating, and by December to March they are settled in Western Ghats. So coming to the discussions as. We know that the uh, information available about this migratory pattern of butterflies are largely anecdotal information uh, and some report, small reports of uh, migratory movements from the secondary data. The previous studies uh, collectively suggest that, even though this information is scarce, these studies collectively suggest that the migration or the east west migration of these butterflies are driven by uh, monsoon. And seasonal shifts uh, in the pattern of occurrence uh, uh, using citizen, which was uh, using citizen science contributions, indicated that migratory movements, uh, which are obtained from the citizen science data, is in line with the pattern of migration from the literature. And uh, coming to some of the limitations of this um, my study or some uh, chances of further exploration. The exact location of start of the migratory movement in both the mountain ranges, uh, both in Eastern Ghats and Western Ghats, uh, remain uh, largely unknown. And the exact reason behind the migration remain understudied, even though we know that uh, it shows a correlation with season. We are still unaware of the exact reason behind this migration. And the information of on migratory flight of these butterflies are largely under studies, as well as we know that migrations remain a crucial event and a relevant event, as well as uh, right now with the changing climate and globally changing climate, uh, these events carry out a huge ecological value uh, right now, and the, um, studying these migratory patterns remain a very crucial scientific point. I would like to thank the Biology Caption Approval Committee of uh, Korea University for the feedback, as well as Dr. Uh, K.S. Anubdas, Dr. Kaleshas, and Dr. Mohamed Jaffa Palot for helping me acquire great data literature. As well as I would like to thank Dr. Kaleshas and V.C. Balagrishnan for letting me use the photos for this presentation. Thank you.